Today is the 2024 Zephyrus G14. No, wait, this isn't it. This is actually a 2021 model. So why am I making a video of a model three years later? The answer is simple. It has never been a better time to buy laptops that are used from Best Buy or Micro Center. See, I went ahead and made some posts on Reddit. You can see here, Micro Center open box $500. And I've also posted it in the Zephyrus G14 channel, as well as the gaming laptop channel bought from Micro Center. Now, one explanation for this is Moore's Law. It is the idea that every so often you can only double your performance in a certain amount of time and here in the original paper it says 10 years and you could see that as year by year things are slowing down in terms of the differences of performance gains there was already the controversy of rtx 4060 machines not being that much different than the rtx 30,000 series and the only difference was that the AI generated content or some of the RTX content that you could get really separated it from the previous year's model. If I was in the market today and your micro center has the option, I would simply just go to micro center, see what's available to choose from. And if my situation, if I was buying laptops today would be to choose an NVIDIA machine and either get an AMD CPU or the new Meteor Lake CPUs. And the reason for that is that if you want to use a machine as a laptop, as in you were gonna take it to go travel it around to coffee shops, stuff of that nature, Intel has consistently been bad until this year when they posted Meteor Lake and then had pretty good battery performance. But otherwise, if you're gonna get a used machine, you wanna go with an AMD that has a Ryzen chip because that has great battery performance when you turn off your Nvidia chip. The reason I'm also choosing an Nvidia chip is compared to AMD chips, Nvidia offers the RTX which does help get better frames per second compared to AMD, which has very limited options in which ways you could smartly boost your FPS, so to speak. Now, with that being said, I got this model for $500 and it just came with the laptop. So Micro Center open box deals aren't always that great, but you do get a 14 day return policy to double check and see if things are working. I ran Cinebench on this particular model. And if we take a look at the site, let's say you're not even a true, I think gaming laptop, in my opinion, and some of the models out there, the best bang for your buck. But some people like Apple deals. And if we look at what Apple has, you can get a m1 pro for a thousand dollars open box which i think is if you're going to be an apple fan and an apple person the best bang for your buck they also offer if we scroll down a 699 m1 macbook air which is also the same price that excuse me mcdonald's i don't know why i said that walmart is now offering so be sure to be on the lookout if you're an apple fan of your local micro center to see what they have in stock the m1 max the one that i was talking about oh it looks like they're sold out oh here it is they have the m1 max 16 inch model for 1899 and this is not open boxes it's just refurb so something to consider there as well if you don't have a micro center by you, you might, chances are you have a Best Buy near you. And so this particular model is the 2021 version, but Best Buy is always having deals and they're showcasing some here. If you search for Zephyrus G14, oh, it looks like most of the deals are actually gone, but they will come back. They go weekly by weekly. So this isn't a great case, but you used to be able to get this machine for $8.99 and they'll probably go back on sale. So be sure to keep monitoring for the prices. They also have open box deals that you can get. This is the latest model. And then they also had the 4060. I've seen this go as low as $9.99. Now, of course you have open box deals here as well that go down to $1,000, so almost $300 off. I expect that as the new machines keep coming out and the difference between the machines aren't that great, this is basically the best time for you as a wanting either to make your own content or whatever you're going to do for gaming laptops they're not just great for gaming they're good for all around in my opinion the dedicated graphics card helps offload some of the work that you might need to do let's say it on microsoft teams and your power when you're sharing or zoom calls when you're sharing your screen if you are a youtuber and you're editing content or you're making you're trying to go viral on TikTok. So yeah, that is some of the considerations I would say of what now, now is the perfect time for buying a used laptop. That's it.
a little bit and I've talked about what the Cinebench score is and what the game performance is on this computer. It runs Dota 2 better than MacBooks. I've always made my channel on making app, Apple products and I'm always grateful for Apple for helping blow up my channel, but going true to my form, this is a three pound device, which is really light and can play. The, the only video game I really play is Dota 2, but I started getting into Helldivers and it runs that game pretty well as well. Like I said, if I were you as well and considering open box, feel free to also use Reddit. I use it as like a tool to get mass information. You can see here, I asked the group in the gaming laptops and in Zephyrus G14 subreddit, no matter what gaming laptop you're going to get or Apple machine, there's always a subreddit where you'd ask the community. So if you find something that you think is a deal, but you're not sure, such as open box or something of that nature, you can always ask them and see what the comments say. A lot of people told me to get in on this deal for $500 as it was a steal. Uh, and I'm actually considering making another video as I just reserved that M1 Max 14 inch to make a video on that as well. As you see here, lots of people say, yep, great deal. Few days, there's a start of 500 people said it's too expensive. So you could find people flip-flopping and not, but it's ultimately at the end of the day for $500, if you were able to pick this up, that comes with the RTX 3060, I recommend it. And I would always, like I mentioned before in this video, try to get a Ryzen machine with an NVIDIA laptop and you'll be good to go. All right, folks, that's been my take as I'm all bundled up here. It's getting cold. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions or comments on deals that you've been finding on Best Buy, or if you have a local micro center, whatever deals you're finding on laptops, I'll be happy to answer. If you have something you're eyeing, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to research it myself and let you know what's, what it's good for. Of course, this depends on what your use case is. So as always folks, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. If you haven't, check out my other content, which now I'm focusing on trying to grow a YouTube channel. I have my own personal vlog besides Blood Logic Tech, trying ways to help YouTubers grow. And one of that is one of those aspects of helping YouTubers grow is having a good laptop. So with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Peace.